batteries on. Okay, ready? Hello everybody, it's Sean Milburn here with Tom Milburn once again today for part three of our winter teardown series. Today it should be called the build up series because we're actually going to be putting the engine back inside of the car. Uh, this should be the final step in getting this thing uh, all sorted out. After this we're going to be looking at testing and tuning. So today you're going to be watching us get this engine here back into the engine bay the same way that you saw us take it out but basically in reverse. So we're going to get that done. You guys can watch us put the engine in and you'll see how that goes. And whatever this is, hold on. Just line that all wet. Oh, uh, there we go. Ooh, that was excessive. Hold on. Move this, whatever this is. So this needs to slide down on that like this. This goes down on this like that. This hose goes on this. We don't have a clamp on that. You know that. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I'll do that. I'll just put that on. That's right. You don't have to do that. Yeah. So now it's going to come towards you a little bit. Yep. All right, so the first motor mount's on on this side here. That's just to give us a little bit of an anchor point so the motor's not moving around all over the engine bay when we're trying to get stuff strapped back to it. Once we have the motor mounts on, we can take all the straps off, and then it'll be sitting in there, and then we can start putting everything else on. Biggest issue here is going to be putting that header back on because it was kind of a pain in the butt to get out, so it's probably going to be even worse going back in. We'll see how that goes. Oh wow, wow, that went right in. What? Because the motor's not tipped back. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna jack this up just a scad. Okay. See if I can get this last bolt in here. Yeah, I'm thinking what's going on here is uh, the motor has to drop down and slide into that, right? It won't swing down onto it. Before it's always dropped right in. Everything doesn't always work the same. So you want me to pull this off? Uh, yeah. So right now we're getting this motor mount and that motor mount lined up. But once these are lined up, the rear motor mount that sits underneath in the back of the engine down there by the header doesn't want to line up properly. Yeah. So we took these off now, just like that. And we're gonna get the engine loose. Then we're gonna try and get that one hooked up first. And then we're gonna do these because it'll be way easier to line these up up top than it is to do it down there. There we go, I think that got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I think it went into its place. Yeah, it's in place. Perfect. All right, so now that that's back in its place, I'm gonna go ahead and stick Work this on. stuff back on. We already got the header in, actually. We did it before we put any of the mounts on so that we didn't have to harass it again. Yeah, once we're done getting these mounts on, I'll show you guys what we're gonna be up to next. So we're all done with getting the motor mounts on. The rear motor mount was a pain in the butt. Yeah, as always, it's kind of a pain. We had to do a lot of prying and moving to the engine to actually get it to fit. Once we got that in, we got all of the bolts nice and tight now. So over here, all these bolts are tight. Over here, all these bolts are, uh, bolts are tight. And down in there is the rear motor mount. We got all those bolts tight as well. So right now, we're going to slip the header gasket back on and then get this header on. Then uh, start reassembling everything else. Now that the engine's in, we got all the straps off, so it's basically just putting everything back on, getting the wire harness all hooked up. and. So I'm going to be putting the header back on, and we ported this head. So we also have to port the gasket, right? If you put a stock gasket with the little holes on it, it's going to defeat the purpose of doing that to the head. I also ported the ports to the uh, header, 
so everything kind of matches so that's always important to do if you've got a larger head and your uh, your man your exhaust manifold is too small uh, that doesn't do you any good so you got to match all that stuff up so i did that with this gasket Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, that's seated on there. So now we just need to put all the nuts boots back on. In there. Get some boots. So we've just been at it for a little bit. Everything's going on really nicely. No snags. The only snag was those uh, those motor mounts, and the rest of this should be pretty straightforward. It's going in like it should. Yep, it really is. So we're gonna hope we can start it up by the end of the day today. It's gonna be super smoky and noisy and everything. Yep, Sno smoky and noisy. Stinky. <laughs> yep, that is uh, that's gonna be the culprit of a bunch of smoke right there. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Shouldn't be too bad. So a lot of the wiring harness is on now. We got quite a bit of it made it and hooked up, at least the portion that's gonna be sitting under the intake manifold. We did this first so that we can put the intake manifold on, um, get that out of the way. So now that all of this is on, I'm gonna be putting it on and then we'll move on from there. I'm gonna start attaching all this kind of stuff once this is all done. Once uh, everything's back in here, we're pretty much good to go. We're getting really close. This was actually so fast. Fast, I told you, this, this car is great. Yeah. It's got it, so much room and everything. We've been, what time is it? We've been at this maybe like two hours, hours <laughs> maybe two hours and it's already almost done. That's actually crazy. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on moving. All right, the intake manifold's on. So we're getting the fuel rail back on, getting all the injectors in. It's getting real close. We just gotta get some of these loose ground wires all sorted out like that and then get the rest of these plugged in once the intake goes on. And I think the header's already on too. Header's on? Yep, header's on. It's connected to the rest of the exhaust system. And wow, yeah, we're really just at the final stages. So after this, it's just putting all the fluids in it and then we can start it. Blast off. Wow, that was so fast. That was uh that was great. All right. Well, I'm excited. So I'll see you guys once we're uh, once we're getting to all the exciting stuff. Great progress. We got all of the fluids in now. We're just finishing up and putting in the transmission fluid, and then we'll be good to go. I already put in the water and the radiator and the oil in the engine. So that's just the finishing touch right there. We already got the axles on. So everything's ready to go here. That was a crazy non-hassle install of this engine. It was very, very straightforward. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully everything works perfectly as it should and we have no mishaps. Because hopefully mishaps are expensive I, yeah, and time consuming. I don't anticipate any issues. Same. I think we did everything properly. And I think it'll be just fine. This thing's going to be awesome. So much fun. All right. The next next segment here is going to be for startup. Hopefully we'll see how it goes. We're going to keep the garage open because it's going to be crazy smoky. So we'll see you guys then. All right. So Tom's going to be here with the handy dandy anti burn the house down device. Well, I'm in there starting up the car. So I'm gonna set you guys up and we'll do the first startup right now. Everything's on and connected, all the fluids are in and it's ready to go. So let's see how it does. Cross your fingers. Yep, yeah, cross your <laughs> fingers. Oh, no, it's a 
you're seeing is from the header wrap. I'm talking to the camera. The header wrap is smoking and that's what cures it in. Okay, we happen to have a water leak. Yeah, I don't know if you remember at the beginning I said we were going to change the water pump and I did. We had a hard time getting the correct one to fit. Um, it took us a couple of days to run one down and when I put it in I pinched the o-ring that holds it in there um, and I had to put a little silicone on it. Um, plus I was I had some other issues with it. It wasn't going down right. So we've got a water leak and I'm, hopefully I won't have to pull the whole water pump, but something's going on here. We got water dribbling. Go ahead and fire it back up. Okay, we found the water leak. It was, uh, I pinched that O-ring and that uh, little fitting down there. It would be an easy fix, but we'll have to take it off and I'll have to run out and get an O-ring. How are you going to get to that? Oh, I see it right there where you have all the that, fucking goo on it. Yeah, that elbow. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. yeah. of course that's, yeah. So. Right. Let's it up. Well, we know it runs. Dude, that, 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 it started so fast. Purrs like a kid. So fast. Like it I didn't chug or choke or anything. It just yeah. immediately started. I need to get a uh, vent for this. Yeah. All right, so we're probably gonna do that off camera and just fix that up and get it yeah. back on the ground and. I'm gonna like do it tomorrow. Yeah. Let's do cleanup. Yep. And it's then time we'll to drain the water everything. and then we'll do that and then we'll. We'll do break in. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah, so mm -hmm. everything's all done. Pretty much just need to fix that thing. Shouldn't be too bad. Just need to get the right piece for it and then it's good to go. We're going to start breaking in the motor, clean up all the tools, which is going to kind of suck because they're scattered everywhere. <laughs> so that's going to be the rest of my evening, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was, uh, it was kind of fun putting this back in and making sure everything worked right. I'm really, really happy that there's no major issues and it didn't just blow up as soon as we started it. <laughs> like someone forgot to put a keeper on the, on the valves or something like that. None of that went down, so it's all good. We're all good. It's all good. So next video for this car is likely going to be taking it out to the track. No. No? It, What's that one? Dino, Dino is going to be next. Yep, so we're going to take it to our tuner. You're going to get to meet Lawrence. He's uh he's our tuner for this. Really good guy, really good tuner. So, you'll get to you'll get to see his expertise and his little shop and if he's not camera shy. Yeah, if he's not camera shy, I don't know. Maybe he won't want me filming, but we'll see how it goes. If he does, then you you guys will get to meet him and that'll be the next video. So, I'll see you guys then. Have a great day and we'll see you next time on Millburn Motorsports.